macular degeneration is when you could put it crudely that the center of your retina that you're, you're using for reading um, degenerates and it, it's part of an you could say it's part of an aging process if i get you all to live to 50 uh, so if i get you all to live to 100 years probably 20 percent of you will have macular degeneration it, remember the retina is a sports car it burns out so um, I, had a, I had a very significant failure in a clinical trial because we took a whole group of patients um, who had macular degeneration. We treated them with red light and we treated their part, more, more women have macular degeneration than men. We took their husbands as the control subjects. Um, and to a first approximation, we got absolutely no effect whatsoever. Um, but, Lo and behold, their husbands, their vision, they didn't have macular degeneration, but their vision was improving enormously, particularly the way in which they could deal with darkness. And we found that when we look back at it, we found that the subjects that we were dealing with, the patients, their disease had reached a certain point. It had gone beyond a certain point. And when you talk to people about red light, and I talk to people, I talk to Parkinson societies, I talk to various groups, and I talk to the researchers in it, there is one thing that's very clear, is that red light can impact on aging, it can impact on disease, but it can't do it if that disease has really got its teeth into you. So early intervention is absolutely critical.